how do things get to the point? I mean, when we see the play, when we start seeing it, we already see somebody's potentially dead. The, the spectrum of where it starts is so um, detailed. It's mm. so, you don't really notice it until there's, it, it rises up. Actually, yeah, to be honest, my, my sort of feelings about that are, are really way away from this play and more from my life experience. I've always loved Mike through the time of seeing it because you represent in a way what most of us, or actually all of us, are. We are desperate for the person that we care about, that we love, not to experience abuse. And, and we are stuck sometimes with how to help. People obviously feel quite powerless in these situations. It, it can make the loudest noises in the world, and yet um, people can't hear one another. You had two families here. A lot of what was happening was within that family. You never actually even saw an external character. And that's one of the things around domestic violence that families many times try to kind of keep it hidden. And it was a quite terrifying realization that I came to that um, I didn't really need the statistics to read from anybody else. I just had to look into my own community. I think the thing that we can all do is take a stand. And I think it mentioned well about actually that there are times that we have friends or family members who say things that we know aren't okay and we know that could be challenged and I think we need to get the confidence to say actually it's not okay to behave like that, it's not okay to experience abuse and hearing it is very, very powerful for a victim.